All right, YouTube land, we're back with another video real quick. We got a 400 amp power supply that's built in an old X-Force uh, HD case. Uh, you can see that it's showing 14.2 volts like they sometimes do. These meters round up. It's actually 14.1758 or something to that effect. So anyway, we're going to load this up. Uh, 200 volts, uh, 200 amps right there holding 14.1. Uh, we're going to take it up to about uh, 450 holding 14.1 right there. So uh, about 440 amps. So uh, anyway, now one thing I like to uh, reiterate on this or, uh, or, or uh, talk on is that when you're on this load tester, that is continuous amperage. That plate, that's almost you know as you tighten those plates down, it becomes a short, and that's what you're you're dealing with. So uh, it's continuous amperage. When you're running an amplifier, you're not going to do that. Your amplifier is going to do this, you know, while you're talking. If you put an amp gauge on there, you know, if you put like a 16 pill on there, it's gonna, it's gonna sit there and it's gonna go over 300, you know, it's gonna do that. So uh, showing at 440, 450 amps continuous is uh, showing uh, that it'll definitely uh, hold, uh, you know, up to 400 amps of amp draw off an amplifier, no problem under modulation. Uh, and it'll hold uh, 400 amps of uh, dead carrier, you know, if you can do that. Uh, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that very long, but but it will do it. So, anyway, that concludes this. I got to get back on the bench. Uh, like I say, we're trying to get all this knocked out and knocked down, and uh, we're down to two power supplies, a, uh, a 400 amp and a 1,000 amp, and we're down to about five amplifiers, and we'll be completely caught up uh, with a clean slate. So we're really excited about that. So. We're gonna get out of here. Y'all be safe, be careful, and be kind. I gotta get the screws in this thing and uh, get it ready to go. Talk to y'all later.